International Institute of Information Technology. This is the first lecture in the series of differential equations and today I am explaining you the concept of linear differential equations of 10th order. So to start with let us first understand uh, what is the meaning of each term in this uh, linear differential equation of order n. So we are talking about linear differential equations and specifically uh, specifically we are talking about order n equations uh, here what do you mean by linear so let us first of all understand what is the meaning of the term linear so if i write a differential equation for example suppose i take a function y it is a function of variable x so let me write down y as a function of variable x then if i differentiate it once you know we get dy by dx so if i relate all these three terms together that is y this uh, x and this dy by dx then they can be put in certain function x comma y comma dy by dx If I then write this function equal to say c or 0, then we say that this is a differential equation of first order. Why first order? Because we differentiated our function y only once. If we do the differentiation two times, you know we get d2y by dx square. In that case, we call the differential equation, corresponding differential equation is of order 2. And henceforth, uh, if you take the differentiation one by one of higher order, you will get differentiations of differential equations of higher order. So, here in this topic, we are considering the differential equations of all higher orders. And hence, if I want to define it, I will say that a linear differential equation is a relation between a input variable x, output variable y and the derivatives of y. So the nth derivative of y is equal to 0. So this becomes a linear differential equation of order n. Now why it is called linear? Because the highest order derivative term has degree 1. So the degree and order are important things in the differential equation. Fine. So today, uh, before we start, uh, let me define first of all, what do you mean by solution of a differential equation? For example, suppose you take an algebraic equation like x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. What do you mean by solution of this? The solution of this is the value of x which satisfies this equation. That means if you put the value of x, then the right hand side should match with the left hand side. Similarly, if I take a differential equation, say dy by dx plus y is equal to 0. So this is a differential equation. What do you mean by solution of this? The solution of is a function that is a function y. So I want to find out a function which if I put it here, should satisfy the left hand side with right hand side. So that is called as a solution. So for any differential equation, when we are solving it, we are actually finding a function y is equal to f of x. And we will get a solution after solving the uh, given differential equation. So basically the solution is a function. Okay, fine. So now our intention here is to solve a linear differential equation of order n. Okay. Now we distribute this problem of solving into two parts. So what we will do? Uh, we will find out solution to this differential equation in two steps. In first step, 
we will obtain solution of corresponding homogeneous equation this solution to a homogeneous equation is popularly known as complementary function and in step 2 we will obtain the solution for the non homogeneous equation so any problem which is of linear differential equation of order n uh, can be solved in steps two steps in first step uh, you should obtain the solution to the homogeneous part and in the next step you obtain the solution to the non homogeneous part okay fine so uh, first of all now let us consider the uh, problem where we will find out the solution of the homogeneous part okay so what i do is start with a uh, directly an example uh, which demonstrates how to find out the homogeneous equation and how to find out its solution okay so let us consider a problem for example my problem is like this d2y by dx square minus 5 dy by dx plus 6y is equal to 0 okay now why i am taking it taken here zero okay so whenever the function on the left hand side or the equation on the left hand side contains y its first derivative and its higher derivatives such left hand side if you match with zero on the right hand side such kind of equation is also called as homogeneous equation so this is homogeneous why because on the right hand side we have zero and no any function okay instead of zero if we have some function over there for example suppose i write here sin x then then this becomes a non homogeneous equation okay so given a equation how to get an homogeneous function out of it just make the right hand side equal to zero okay. so right now for example i am considering this side to be equal to so fine uh, so to proceed with this what i do i'll shift in this given equation uh, into an operator for example we can use a capital d as an operator for d by dx so d works as an operator for d by dx so the given equation reduces to d square minus 5d plus 6y equal to 0 so whenever you start with solving first of all use this operator d and reduce your equation to this operator form here this operator form is popularly written in this notation phi of d so phi of d represents a polynomial of d times y equal to 0 okay. now the second step uh, is this factorization of the phi d so in the next step we will factorize phi of d and now this is easy to factorize since it is d square minus 5d plus 6 we know that it is factorized to d minus 3 and d minus 2 ok if we equate each factor to 0 we will get d equal to 3 and d equal to 2 right and therefore since the factors are real and distinct real and distinct factors i can directly write down the complementary function as y equal to and take the first constant c1 and take e to the power this factor over here 3x plus second constant c2 i'll take d to e to the power the second factor 2x so this becomes the complementary function of this given homogeneous equation 
Okay. In fact, now since the homogeneous equation is already given to us, this becomes the final solution of the uh, given problem. Okay. Uh, note one thing that the number of constants in the solution should match the order of the differential equation. So since the order is two here, we have two constants in the solution. Okay. Now uh, this is one case where we have real and distinct factors. Okay. Suppose the factors are not real, I mean, uh, and distinct. For example, you can take real factors, but they are repeating factors. Then in that case, you have to change your solution a little bit. Okay. So let me show you that. Suppose I take a equation of this pattern. It is say d minus 3 bracket square times y equal to 0. Okay, now here if you observe the factor d minus 3 is repeating two times. Okay, so here the value of d equal to 3 is repeating two times. Okay, in such cases you write your yc or the complementary function as you take first constant, you take second constant, form a polynomial. Okay, since it is repeating two times, we are forming a polynomial of degree one. So it is two minus one times e to the power and place directly the root that is three x. Okay, so this is a way to write a solution when your factors are repeating. So this is a way when you write a solution when the factors are real but distinct and this is a way where the factors are repeating. Okay, fine. Another uh, case appears in these uh, solution is the factors are complex. So let us take that example as well. Okay. So suppose the factors are complex. So let me take one example. Say uh, d square plus 4 times y equal to 0. Suppose I reduce my given equation and it turned out to be in this format. Now you know that d square plus 4 if I want to factorize it will be d plus 2y and d minus 2y times y equal to 0. So the factors are complex, d is equal to plus or minus 2i, okay. Whenever the factors are complex, it is very easy to find out the complementary function. You simply find out the real part and that is equal to 0 here and the imaginary part and that is equal to if you get real part and imaginary part of your complex number, the next step is very simple. You directly write down your solution. It is equal to e to the power, the real part, that is 0 times x, into bracket, take the first constant c1, imaginary part, cos of 2x plus c2 sin of 2x. Now if you observe, this real part goes here and the imaginary parts, they are the, uh, they are the angles in cos and sin. Okay. So this is a way to get a solution when the factors are complex. Okay. Now there is only one case left where the complex factors are also repeated. Okay, so let me show you that which will uh, complete the discussion on the finding the complementary function of a given equation. Okay, so for example suppose you consider d square plus 1 bracket square y equal to 0. If I consider this kind of problem, if you observe this factor is repeating two times. Okay, and we know that d square plus 1, if I want to factorize, it is d plus i, d minus i and every factor is repeating two times. Okay, 
every factor is repeating two times. So I can say that instead of writing like this, the factor d is equal to plus or minus i repeat two times. Again, we will take the uh, we will calculate the real part and imaginary part. So note that here the real part is zero. Imaginary part is one. And since the factor is repeating two times, we will write our solution as y is equal to. Okay, now see it clearly. This is e to the power zero x. So real part appears here. Then here we have taken a single constant, but now here we will make a polynomial of degree one since it is repeating two times. So c one plus c two x cos beta x. So cos x plus c three plus c four x sin x. Okay, so here this imaginary part goes inside the angle. One x is x. One x is x. Only thing is that since it is repeating two times, we have taken a polynomial in space of a single constant. Okay, so that is for the complementary function of a given linear differential equation for order n. Thank you.